Hello everyone, my name is Soft Studios and um, welcome to another class. So we're going to use 3D, we're going to use Illustrator to um, design this kind of um, 3D wine bottle. And um, you see it all the time in free picks and um, different um, um, sites where you can download mockups. I got this one from freepick.com, freepicks.com so um you can do the same thing and practice so practice makes what perfect all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to use adobe illustrator to get this work done so sit back grab a cup of coffee or a tea and let's go okay so over here i've exported i've imported this design um so i'm going to go to my layers and I'm going to create another layer. Is on this second is on this second layer. I am going to do my design. So on this guy here, I am going to lock it. When I want to uh, move it, then I will unlock it. It's always good to have two layers so that you won't interrupt with this guy, which is the um, um, JPEG image you imported into your Adobe Illustrator, right? So let's go. Um, uh, if you have watched my other videos i recommend that you watch my other video i did a video on how to create this um, 3d mock mock-up using adobe illustrator um i i believe you must have um, watched it if you have not watched it please watch it more videos will be coming soon i recommend you subscribe so let's go to our pen tool and i'll turn off my caps and i'll go to my layers and I'm going to, um, I'm going selecting this layer. That's where I'm going to do my work. Then I'm going to zoom in. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to change the stroke to black so I can see what I am doing. Okay, so what I will do is I will start from the center of this uh, wine and I'm just going to do something like, like this. I'm not going to follow it. Um, uh, the way it is curved by curved i'm just going to do stuff like this and do like this and just well, i think it's too the spacing in between the edges is too much so i'll just do like this do like this go like this again do another one make it hollow okay then i'll go down uh, and then uh down again and here again and the way we normally do our uh, um okay let me uh make here curvy a bit since there is a bit curvy so goes down like this quote then we'll come here and then we'll come down and then uh okay we'll come down and then i will stop here uh i'll stop here so it brings out it, it snaps and tells tells me that that's the center where i started from at the bottle of the wine so this is where i'm going to stop and i'll click my selection my move to and i'm going to um swap here i'm going to swap the fill the stroke into the fill that's the color of the stroke into the fill so when you are done doing this stuff just do it in your own way just make it very good at the end of the day we are still going to work on the curves so we're just trying to do an outline of the bottle so you might get it correctly the curves and everything you might not get it correctly the main thing is just get an outline that is almost similar to what we have here then when we are done with it we now create start um, um, touching on the curves right so we're going to swap this guy here so i have swapped the color of the stroke to the color of the field right now i'm now going to launch my effects um, i'll go to my 3d and material i'll go to my 3d classic and i'll go to my revolve right evolve classic okay 
now if you look at this it's off axis front and that's why it's showing like this so you have to make it front right now if you look at the left edge is going towards the left edge so you have to um make it right right so now everything here is now taken to the right side of it and now you now have um, the stuff that looks like this plastic shading no we're just going to use diffuse shading oh would diffuse shading be okay let's try plastic uh looks more like a bottle when it's plastic it looks more shinier all right so let's use this um meanwhile you know that this is a 3d stuff you can decide to invert it anyhow you like so i'll use zero and zero and zero what i want to do is to invert the cap a bit so that it has the top of the bottle shows so you know it's actually a 3d stuff all right so okay now so we have done this and we just click on okay we will still come back to um that 3d stuff and change some settings now we just want to look at what we have done now this is our bottle this is how it looks like it's looking cool right let's shift it and see the original one it's looking cool so what we can do now is we're going to bring it out so we just look at what we have here and what we have here okay so let's zoom in and so we start working on the cap of the bottle right so on the cap of the bottle we now have this a a depth here um and then this shot out uh, so we are going to do that on the cap of this bottle by click selecting add anchor points right so let's first of all select this stroke i will go to add anchor points and then we just add another anchor point here let me zoom in so you can see what exactly you can see what i'm doing right so i'm adding another anchor point here right so we look at this guy the reason why we're doing this is so that we can bulge out this top here so we now go to our direct selection tool and let's see if we can now bulge it out okay it's looking good and we can now increase this guy here so it's straight up okay looking good all right so we have been able to do that and let's go down and let's look at this guy so i think this guy too it wasn't bored it's just that he's on a different um uh, is the is where it stopped the whole colors so we take um cognizance of this anchor point because we are going to use our scissors to to cut it out so let's go down and see if um now we notice that there is something here that looks like uh, so let's delete this anchor point and see how it goes okay oh let's see what we can do and smoothen it so we just smoothen it um so it makes it look like it's part of the whole bottle right and then for this guy too we should smoothen it we should just create convert to this guy so we smoothen it so it has a very clean curve we can increase the handle a bit so the curve is smooth and increase this handle again and then let's see how everything looks like now you see there is another anchor point here we have to delete it uh, yeah we just have to delete it so we know that the bottle goes down a bit exactly um and then over here it curves so we're going to use this to bend the corners to be rounded right um okay 
so we are also going to create another anchor point here we're going to add an anchor point here and add another one okay i think that one should that should be enough so what we're going to do is to bend this place a bit okay, so we just have to bend here a bit um to make it bulgy and we um okay so yeah all right so i think that is okay um let's see how everything looks like okay looking cool looking cool all right so we're not going to give this a color this color here so what we're going to do now we are going to use our scissors tool right so let's start with this uh let's start with, let's start here so we're going to use our scissors tool is found under eraser and then we're going to cut off these anchor points and that's it so uh, let's let's try that again seems like um something actually happened so what we're going to do we're going to create another anchor point here so it restricts what we want to cut right to that corner all right so i've added another anchor point and then on this guy we're going to chop it off um so let's see how it goes uh, i think there is kind of um let's bring out the cover right so um yeah and then let's give it this color that we have here so we're going to use our eyedropper tool and select this color here and i noticed that there is something here which i don't like i don't know why it is like that um yeah so i just extended it so it covers the base all right so um we now can we now can take this cover here and push it back into the bottle right and then let's reduce it a bit to fit in uh, okay let's reduce it a bit and then let's increase the bottle to fit in let's reduce zoom in and then let's increase the bottle to fit in what we want to do exactly yeah so beautiful then um we can i think this bottle is a bit darker than what we have here so let's select the lighter point of it yes so it's looking pretty good pretty good and then the rest will now select the bottle and then add some gradients right um in this case i'm going to use my color i'm going to select a more deeper black yes let me use a deeper black and then i'll go to my appearance let me take this guy down i'll go to my appearance and go to my 3d revolve classic my plastic shading and then i'll go to my more options right then um over here i'm now going to start creating a lot of gradients a lot of gradients here right so i'm going to create a gradient here i'm just going to add more gradient to it um i'm going to swap whatever the gradient is here and see we just keep on playing with it till we get exactly what we want to get okay let me swap it back Let's add another gradient here. Uh, uh, nope. Let's delete this guy and let's add. Okay. Okay. So let's see how it goes. Let's reduce the light intensity. 
Okay, so I think this guy is, is to yeah, I think we get in there. Um, okay, let's swap this guy and let's see how it goes. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can add another button. okay all right so i think that is cool i think that is cool right here okay so now that we have done this we have now added i'm sorry about this we've now added all the gradient assuming this is what we want or oh, i think let me delete one of this guy here yeah it's looking good very good assuming this is what exactly we want um let me move this guy a bit okay pretty good uh, what if it's um diffusing shading we use no there is no it's not gonna work all right because our plastic shading which is very okay um we can increase the ambient light a bit yeah or we can reduce it doesn't really increase it uh what again highlight intensity uh, yeah so so it's not be too plastic it look more like a bottle okay so in our next class we're going to look at how to create um, label design into how to fuse label design into a wine bottle the wine bottle we just did so i want you to make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you like it and turn on your notification this is really going to get very exciting all right see you guys in the next class bye